Today, the number of people missing has risen to 58. 46 people confirmed dead. Now nearly a week since Otis battered the city of Acapulco. Officials say power has been about 85 percent restored, but 214 people remain cut off from communication. This is residents are desperately searching for water, for food, pleading with the government to help. Joining us now from Acapulco is Chef Jose Andres, someone who is helping. He is the founder of World Central Kitchen. Jose, it's always uh, great to see you. You're always involved in such critical work. What's the situation like in Acapulco? Well, um, the situation in Acapulco is as bad uh, as I've seen. And I've been very much in every Category 5 hurricane over the last 15, 16 years. Uh, we need to understand Acapulco is a major city, a major tourist hub. And when a hurricane hits uh, almost through the center of a, such a big population, the mayhem is huge. Very much every building you see has had damage. Uh, obviously, um, electricity is still lacking in many in many parts of the city. I know they've been doing good work, and they are hopeful that by tonight, uh, big quantities of Acapulco may receive that electricity. But without electricity, the issue is that people are not getting water. The number one issue right now is the lack of water. You can see very much every single person walking with bottles to try to find a place where to refill. Uh, the military has uh, uh, some places that people can refill water. The Coca-Cola plant, I visited yesterday, they are doing God's work and they are uh, obviously activating the water protocols and trying to put more water into the community. World Central Kitchen, we are bringing water. I know others, but right now water will be for me the most important thing that the uh, people of Acapulco need, obviously on top of, uh, of food. I've been visiting many places, like to me they are like heroes, which are the traditional tortilla places that you find anywhere in the streets of Mexico, but that right now, it's not like they are open for business. It's like right now that these men and women are providing tortillas is used the main staple of many families, but they're running out of maseca. Why? Because everything in terms of distribution is broken. The companies are not working. Uh, the, the, the infrastructures of distribution are not in place. And that's why organizations like World Central Kitchen, we're here to try to make sure that we bring things like Maseca to all these tortilla places to make sure that we provide to some of the restaurants that they are partnering with us all the things they need, generators and fuel and obviously food and the, and the way to transport that food so we can increase the output of meals all across Acapulco, hopefully every day a little bit more. And, and you know, Jose, just you, you, you started our conversation by saying this is something that you haven't seen in, in all the years as far as uh, Hurricane Cat 5. I mean, that says a lot about how much of the world is pretty much not aware of exactly how destructive this is. And it's not just the buildings that are there in front of the water. There's a whole city behind that that has been leveled. How is it that we can help? Because I'm thinking transportation, well, the government's not doing it. How are you getting stuff in and out? And how is it that the world, how can we help you? Well, I think that any government needs all the help they can get. Obviously, when something like this happens, uh, everybody's overwhelmed. But uh, I can say that I've seen since I arrived yesterday, uh, I would say thousands of uh, military from different different uh, uh, parts of the military, from uh, the Navy and the Army and what they call here the La Guardia Nacional. And they are, they are very much um, all, all over the place. Uh, but obviously, the reconstruction after a hurricane is everything. Fixing the electricity is vital uh, because without the electricity, it's very difficult that the water will flow. That means that we need to find other ways to be bringing, obviously, uh, water to every single community. As you say, this is a very uh, big city. The beautiful Acapulco we all see when the tourists come, that's a part of the city that obviously is the, the what creates a lot of jobs and a big uh, economic input into the area. But the vast majority of the city are the poor areas behind the mountains that you that you see in the beautiful main front uh, front part of the city. And those are the areas that obviously devastation is huge that they're going to need for the not only days, but weeks to come 
all the help uh, they can get. So, you know, Wilson Drug Exchange is going to be here. Yesterday, we had a big meeting with many of the restaurant owners that they feel are cleaning the restaurant and with help of some generators and help of fuel and obviously help of food. It's very, very important that we support them because as many restaurants we can put making meals, this will be the perfect way to keep making sure that food flows all across Acapulco. Well, the great Jose Andres, I, I thank you for, for being with us. It's, it's extraordinary work that you uh, carry out, and I really appreciate your time.